So, softboxers are nice, and I'm pretty sure they make anyone average looking immediately a celebrity. Plus, all the professional YouTubers use one. You see this? I really want one of these. But, like the kid whose parents get divorced on Christmas, sometimes you can't always get what you want. So here's how I went about making one myself. Now, I'm not a particularly DIY guy, so if I can do this, then anyone can. You'll need stuff like a basic industrial light, found at Walmart, a cheap lampshade to act as the umbrella, white duct tape, scissors and a hammer, tin foil for the coating, small paper clips, and a cloth to cover the light, and some sort of arm or stand. In this case, I'm repurposing a light that doesn't work. The first thing I did was disassemble the light from the clamp, but keep the excess parts around because you'll need them later. I also took apart this old light so I could use its arm as the new softbox stand. Next, I cut one by one and a half foot foil to wrap up the shade. This will one, amplify the light, but two, keep the entire thing from catching fire. Uh, go ahead and put a little duct tape around the edges at the end to secure the foil because you're going to use it, not sell it, remember? Form follows function, and I've always believed it's better to make fast and iterate rather than never make it all. Next, coffee break. To get the light through the lampshade, you have to remove these metal brackets, which turns out to be a big pain in the neck. But that's okay, sometimes you just have to upgrade. After cutting through it, make sure to trim all the edges as well. After you've snipped the brackets, slide the light through the lampshade and secure it using cardboard. The rigidity of the cardboard will act as a traditional nut. But to play it safe, I then duct tape the cardboard to the edge of the light. Mark the circumference of the base and then go ahead and cut away the excess cardboard edges. This allows the clamp to be secured back on much easier. You basically now have a functioning photo umbrella. The only thing left to do is reattach the clamp to the light and then secure the cloth of the umbrella to soften its focus. You can vary the coolness or the warmth of the light by just simply changing the bulb. And if you want a proper cloth, I recommend getting some non-rip nylon. That's the kind they use in professional photography. So there you go, you now have a handmade home softbox.